everyone, and happy Easter. Mr. Tom and I teach the four-year-old Sunday school class at the First Methodist Church, and my name is Miss Nancy. Uh, Mr. Tom couldn't be here today, so Haiti Moon, our dog, is probably going to be helping me a little bit. This is a really wonderful day because we're rejoicing in Easter and that Christ, Jesus Christ, is alive. If you look at your folder, if you have a folder, um, there are many ways that we can tell people that Jesus is alive. In this photo, two little girls are whispering, um, Jesus is alive. In this photo, the little girl is on the phone. She's telling somebody she loves, Jesus is alive. In this photo, all the children are jumping and singing and dancing and I bet they're shouting at the top of their lungs, Jesus is alive. In this picture, the child is painting a picture telling people that Jesus is alive. And in this picture, this little boy is playing the guitar and singing, Jesus is alive. There are a lot of ways that you can tell people that Jesus is alive. And um, I bet you can find many ways to do that. We're going to read this morning from our Bible storybook, the story about Easter morning good news. Sunday morning, the sun peeked over the trees. The sky was filled with pink and orange light. As soon as Mary Magdalene and her friends woke up, they remembered what had happened two days before. Jesus died on the cross. They wiped tears from their eyes. They missed Jesus very much, but now it was time to anoint Jesus' body. The women walked quietly to the tomb that held Jesus' body. When they arrived, the ground began to shake beneath their feet. An earthquake, they thought. Mary and the other women were afraid. They held tightly to each other. Everything became still. The women slowly stepped closer to the tomb. The huge stone was gone. Someone had rolled it away. The women looked into the tomb and gasped. Jesus' body was gone. And these are the pictures of the women so sad after Jesus died. And here they thought they were having an earthquake. The women blinked their eyes. Who is that, they wondered. An angel dressed in dazzling white. Here's a picture of the angel dressed in dazzling white. Don't be afraid, the angel said. You're looking for Jesus, but he isn't here. Jesus is alive. Go and tell his disciples, Jesus is risen. Could it be true, the woman wondered? Mary and her friends rushed to tell the other disciples. Jesus appeared suddenly. Greetings, he said. The women reached out to touch him. Jesus, it's you, Mary exclaimed. Her friends jumped and clapped their hands. They were so surprised and so excited. Jesus smiled. Then go and tell my disciples, I'm alive. The women raced down the road to share the good news. Jesus is risen. And this, there's the picture of the angel in white. And there is Jesus, and there Mary Magdalene, Mary mother of James, and Joanna, all so surprised. How do you feel when you're surprised? We're going to play a little game now that you can play um, at home with your mom and dad or older brother or sister. I've got four eggshells, egg four egg halves. And I only have three pennies. So one egg half does not have a penny under it. And I want you to guess which one it might be. Is it the blue one? Is it the purple one? The orange one? Or the yellow one? Let's check and see. It won the yellow one. There's a penny under the yellow one. What about the orange one? No, there's a penny there too. We haven't found that empty shell yet. What about the purple one? <gasps> no, there's a penny.
penny there too. Must be the blue one. There it is. That's the empty eggshell. Did you feel surprised when you found out that the blue one was the empty one? There are many signs of spring. Butterflies are one of them. If you look on uh, this part of your pamphlet, uh, it says Jesus is risen. Jesus is alive. And it has butterflies on it. You can color this if you want to. And you can make a butterfly by putting your thumbs together and wiggling your fingers. That makes the sign of a butterfly. There are other signs of Easter. If you look on this pamphlet, there's the cross that shows uh, where Jesus died, the tomb where Jesus was buried, the J for Jesus is alive, and then Jesus himself. So sometime today, take some colors and color the cross, color the empty tomb, Jesus' cloak, and the J for Jesus is alive. We hope you have a very happy Easter. We have really missed being with you guys, and we hope we'll all be together soon.